They have names like iChill, Relaxen, Dreamwater, and Vacation in a Bottle. But you could call them downer drinks. The latest trend in the billion dollar functional beverage market is the anti-energy drink. What goes up must come down and I think that you know people that use energy would also maybe had you know too many cups of coffee and energy towards the end of the day need the relaxation to to unwind from caffeine to unwind from a stressful day so how are these relaxation drinks supposed to make you feel we'd like to say it feels like you just had a massage it feels like you're sitting on the beach and relaxing that feeling of whew, just you just have that one second to yourself that you know everything's going to be perfect do you really need this beverage and if you're suffering from very bad insomnia and an inability to relax at the end of the day, then perhaps there are some other things going on. Candy Sarunas is professor of clinical pharmacy at UC San Francisco. She says there's not enough research on these drinks and all their different herbal and hormonal ingredients to know their long-term effects. And she's not convinced they really work. In most cases, it's highly likely that the ingredients are uh, in very small quantities. In fact, the industry sometimes calls that fairy dust amounts. So it's questionable if there are even therapeutic amounts of these herbs in there. One particular ingredient that health experts are concerned with is melatonin, a natural occurring hormone that regulates sleep cycles. Our main ingredient is melatonin. It's been on the U.S. market for 30, 40 years um, as a dietary supplement. It's very safe. It's sold over the counter. Um, so it's you know, in the right dosage, which you know, not to exceed two bottles a day, it's, it's perfectly fine for, for anyone. And the makers of these products claim it's a healthier way to relax than the traditional home remedy alcohol. Haven Daily, The Associated Press.